We're sitting at Heronia Airport, AKA Midland, Ontario, Canada, just south of Lake Huron. We have a perfect weather from Friday through Monday, so we're camping Saturday night. All right, let's do this. One final weather check before we leave. Stable at 11 a.m., they're calling for it. We'll be up well before that. 22 and a half to hover. Not bad. Midland traffic helicopter, November 300. Whiskey's are departing directly from the ramp. Initial west end wind and right turnout for northbound departure. Midland. All right, so we're heading to the campsite that we camped at during Heading North, our helicopter series we produced last year. Link up here if you haven't seen it. So we had a nice window, good weather, and one of our goals before we brought the helicopter to Torrance was to do one more island camping night. So that's what we're doing. If you don't know what we're talking about, bringing the helicopter to Torrance, we'll link to that video up here. It's a great way to burn off some hours whilst having fun. Oh yeah. All right, we're entering the Georgian Bay. Just as beautiful as I remember. The islands. It's all private land. We got our Crown Lens maps from the series loaded up on the new iPad. We finally added the new <laughs> iPad Mini. You bit the bullet and just bought me one. I had to. Because you knew I wouldn't. I was sick of seeing it overheat on every single flight, even if it's just sunny out. And I know that when we fly across, it's going to be real hot. Oh my god, no air conditioning in Utah in the peak summer? Oh, and going through Texas, peak summer. Like Arizona. 100 degrees, yeah. Mitigating yeah. as many risks as possible. Yeah, I'm just trying to be overly prepared with the gear. Man, it's so pretty here. Beautiful. Uh, so there's so many mosquitoes out here. It's like Jim Baird adventure level mosquito nest. There's so many flies. We're here, we're doing it. Puckering asshole mode. I'm ready. It's actually not that bad. This is on a scale of one to Jim Baird level of black flies. We're at like a solid six, maybe. Ye old stomping grounds. Wow, this is where we were before. Yeah. We're back. The Ontario palm tree. The Ontario palm tree. I think the flies are mating. I just had two doing coitus land on my arm. <laughs> By the way, new merch. Cop that merch. We're gonna go feel the water and see how cold it is. <laughs> oh, I felt flies. them. The ice. Oh my God, that's freezing. I can... Oh yeah, it's cold. You landed in a really nice spot here. Dips down right for the tail. Appreciate those words of affirmation. We've done this once before, last year. Two pages, 12 steps. Don't call it the palace for nothing. What is that supposed to mean? We can't stake the tent. Rock, so I'm just making a little loop. Got the stick. And two. Put this right here. She ain't going anywhere. <laughs> she might go somewhere, we'll see. Well, this is a nice tent. You can stand up in it. Six foot on the dot, and I've got headroom here. This is a proper way to do two people tenting in a six person tent. Flies are maggoty. Oh my God, are they ever? Shall we go make some dinner? Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm starving. I am starved too. It's on the supper menu tonight. You don't even know. I do know. It's tortillas and chicken, some sort of Mexican chicken, quesadilla, casserole. Yeah. All right, let's get the food on the go. I brought you an apple soda. Oh, thank you. You're welcome for supper. We're taking this freeze dried meal and we're gonna soup it. This is a chicken fajita bowl. It's got chicken, rice, black beans, corn, roasted red peppers and onions. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna use it as a fajita and we're gonna put them in the fajita shells. And I brought some cheese. Cheese is mold. Cheese is mold. Earlier I was not looking forward to this meal, but now I am looking forward to this meal. Yeah, same. <laughs> we're heading west. We still wanna bring all of our cooking stuff even though we're not gonna camp because we want the ability to be able to stop and make a lunch. This time we're going with a smaller, I have a smaller canister this time that fits inside this smaller pot that I got. So I took my stove out of the case, lighter, and then my Sea to Summit collapsible measuring cup. Yes, bye. Now that's a nice setup. Yeah, it's all contained in the pot. Cheers. What is it? Mm. It's actually really good. I wish we had avocado, but we can't bring avocado across the border. So you can't bring fresh produce across the border, across the Canadian border, but it begs the question, if you took avocado and just mashed it up and called it guacamole, therefore it's prepared, and you could probably bring it across the border then. Definitely we could have gotten three each for sure out of this. Yeah. Is it too much? <laughs> Should I make it a quesadilla? <laughs> it's planned now. We're gonna 
pack away some of the stuff that we're not gonna use now for the rest of the night. We're gonna get all situated to have a nice little fire, and then once that's done, then we'll probably hit the sack. Yeah, what do you got on your hands? My work gloves. I gotta go get a couple of kindling pieces. Oh, yeah. Come on. Good sweater. Yes, bye. Yeah. I had to go to the fire starter, but that's why I brought them, right? They're there to use. Why not get help if there's no birch trees or no kind of natural small kindling? That's why we got the fire starters. What a setup. Tuxedo time. The smell right now is so good. It just smells like wood, like wood stove. I don't know how else to describe it. Campfire. Delightful, campfire, perfect. <laughs> ambiance. What's more of an ambiance? My head tent or these twinkle lights? The head tent for sure. Alright, should we go to bed here now? Good night. Clouds are looking ominous over there. As you can see, the sky is a little dark over here. There's actually rain moving in this way. The sky is looking a bit ominous. The forecast is about an hour and a half till the rain gets here. So we're gonna fire up a coffee and tea real quick. We're not even gonna eat breakfast. We're gonna get packed up and we're just gonna get out of here. If we get stuck on this island, when we can't make it home. But if at least we can get to an airport and if we get stuck in an airport, we can get a car and get back to Buffalo. Uh, 21.9 hover, not bad. All right, Rolls yeah. popsicle stand. Yeah, give me a mental pressure, 15, 2,000 feet. 22.2. Okay. That was an easy one. <laughs> All right, so we are cooking our meal in a clandestine fashion. We flew into this little regional airport and it's actually not that little. There's no picking tables anywhere. Kind of over here, just like sketchily firing up our breakfast right next to the entrance to this airport. <laughs> like that's the entrance right here. The pilot lounge probably has a kettle with boiling water. I feel like I'm doing something illegal. We've already started this process. You want back to it? Yeah. I'm really crooked right now. I feel like I'm doing something illegal. These eggs are a horrifying texture, but we're gonna soup them with a little ketchup. Mm. Not bad. Course number two. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's got some festive spices in it. Way better than like shitty ass instant oatmeal. Yeah, I get this one again for sure. It just tastes bad. What does it taste like? Old metal. Ew. All right, how do you feel about this airport? Uh, it's a really good airport. $10 ramp fee, I think you said. Waved with fuel, nice bathroom. There's All like right. a pizza shop, but it doesn't open until three. Nine out of 10, because I'm pick tables. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna leave you guys here. Thank you guys so much for watching this little vlog. How many hours? I don't know, we'll put a title. Right here. All right, see you next weekend. Still gonna, like, this. Has it overheated yet today? No, but the other one might not have either. Yes, it would have. Oh. It overheated last time and it wasn't even that hot out. It's just if it's a direct oh, sun. Just stop it. I've been strategically turning the the aircraft away from the sun so that this doesn't turn into a greenhouse. Interesting, it's right in the sun now. <laughs> it's not, it's like 4 p.m. I put boiling water inside of our Nalgene bottles and I stuck them down in our sleeping bags and it's like a heater. Oh my God, it's still like piping hot. Oh, where's mine? Still piping.